Welcome, and thank you for watching this video presentation on how to protect your back while gardening. Back injuries are the number two cause of lost work time in the United States. Our purpose is to learn about the structures of the lower back, identify the risk factors for low back problems, teach how to protect your back, and prevent injuries. First, a review of spinal anatomy. The potential in your tissues in the lower back are the bones, ligaments, muscles, and the discs. The risk factors for back injuries, obesity, taller people, history of previous back injury, genetics, smoking, and stress. The causes of low back strains, traumatic loading, extended periods of poor posture, and re repetitive motions. The risk of disc injury. Studies show that when laying down, there's 50 pounds of pressure on the middle disc in the lower back. Standing increases the load to 100 pounds, sitting 140 pounds, and bedding forward 220 pounds. Lifting just 5 pounds increases it to 340 pounds, and if rotating, it goes up to 420 pounds. In fact, rotation as little as 3 degrees can begin to tear the outer fibers of the disc. So next we're going to review proper lifting. To avoid injury, remember your back. Back straight, avoid twisting, close to your body, keep smooth. As you stand, keep your body straight. This will give you a stronger sense of balance, keeping you from falling or dropping what you are lifting and will also protect your back. Arch your back inward, keeping your pelvis tilted forward. Stand facing the object. Put your feet 10 to 12 inches apart with one foot a little ahead of the other. This will give you support. Bend your knees, placing more weight on your front foot. Tighten your stomach muscles, grasp the object, wrapping arms around it or under it. Keep the object close to your body, near your waist. This is your body's center of gravity and carrying something here will prevent you from getting back strain. To stand up, straighten your knees using your muscles in your legs and hips. When turning, move your feet. Do not twist your back. Lower the object at the proper destination, bending your knees and keeping your body straight. If the object slips, lower gently to the floor while tightening your abdominal muscles and avoid rotation. Lift in stages if you need to. Avoid reaching over your head to lift to prevent strain on joints located along your spine. Follow the general lifting guidelines recommended by the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, which state the most a person can lift with a minimal risk of injury under ideal conditions is 51 pounds. So, to review, avoid lifting by keeping loads at waist level. Stagger feet and bend knees when bending forward. Avoid prolonged awkward posture. Stretch before and after activity, and use your common sense. Some lifestyle issues to consider. Drop those extra pounds, quit smoking, exercise regularly, get periodic spinal checkups, and learn stress management. In conclusion, it's your back. Take care of it, and we'll take care of you. Our gift to you. If you found this information useful and would like to find out if chiropractic care might be able to help you, or a family member, visit freespecialhealthreport.com and simply sign up to get your free special health report that includes a very special introductory offer of incredible value for services at our office. And thank you for watching.